everyone, Karen Glasser here. And Mel Greenberg. And welcome to Uncorked, Life Exposed in the Most Unexpected Ways, where you what you see is not always what you get. And today we are having an enlightening conversation that we are calling, Should I Stay or Should I Go? I don't know. Should we stay or should we go? <laughs> Staycation versus vacation. The world's and opening up and we're here to share our distinct differences yes. and approaches and give you some great ideas and, and suggestions to get your summer off on a good start. Absolutely. But first, we got, we got, to, we got to do cheers here. So yeah. we're going to just <laughs> cheers. I'm drinking, I'm drinking um, White Claw hard seltzer. I know. And you're sure. that's, where <laughs> yeah. that's where the differences start. Yeah. Totally is where the differences start. Um, this is hard seltzer. It's natural lime. I've already poured myself a glass. And so we're going to just uh, cheers uh, to Here. the summer. And I am drinking a Hugo Spritz, which I first encountered staying at the Belmont in Ravello, Italy. And it is the most refreshing to me. It's a little elderflower, soda water, ice, mint, lime, and of course, Prosecco. So you can't go wrong with Prosecco. You cannot go wrong with Prosecco. And, know, right? <laughs> and as a matter of fact, we put that recipe into our uncorked kit. And you can just go, you can go find it there online, bit.ly with a little slash uncorked live. And you'll find the recipe in addition to a bunch of really cool things that go along with this show today. So uh, just some housekeeping, whether you're here live or on replay, make sure you say hi, put it in the comments and tell us where you're from because we'd love to see you, be introduced to you and respond to you. So Mel, we're, we're literally, it's should we stay, should we go, I, vacation versus vacation and we- This was so do. fun to plan and talk about doing and sharing with you all because i mean once we got vaccinated we were flying we were gone yeah. Bag, bags had been packed they were never unpacked to be told <laughs> and we were out the door so i can empathize with those who have other circumstances and karen you're gonna kind of go into that because it's not just there's so many reasons that that right. lead us to one choice or another and and it's important to to empathize and respect those differences Absolutely. But I'm gone. I'm on the plane. I know. I know you are, and I'm actually. I think I'm going to live vicariously through you. Okay. You're, you've already been to Hawaii. You've been um, multiple places in the yeah. country, and I know that you're probably been going to go into Italy probably relatively soon. Sooner than later. Yeah. Sooner than later. Um, me, not so much. Even though I love Italy, and I would love to go to Italy, I'm just not there yet. I'm just not quite comfortable. And I think that's where this whole topic came up. Um, is that we, how can how can we be so much alike and yet so different in the way we approach this whole thing right now, right? Right, and I think that's where we are globally. You know, the the the, the divisions are are significant, and but so many factors, as I mentioned, play into it. Whether you may be taking care of elder family members, right. you may have a compromised immune system or concerns, or, or you know what, you're just more comfortable at home. And and even I went through that. I who who at the drop of a hat will be on a plane and always keep a bag packed because I love this planet of ours and and experiencing every aspect of it. But the first time last year, my first trip back to I live in Southern Arizona, and my first trip back to California, where I'm from. I really experienced a sense of vulnerability that yeah. I had never gone through before. And it, it still settles within me uncomfortably because you kind of, it's like, I mean, our world had changed these past 14, 15 months and that's never going to go away. So now it's a matter of how do you navigate it? How do you navigate those, those right. changes and, and not become, you know, still be who you are and, and honor that. Right. But also the fact that that it has changed. It's tricky stuff. It is very tricky stuff. And it really has changed. And in my situation, you know, my husband is a cancer survivor and was still going through treatment. And so I was neurotic, literally to the point of, I don't think we left our house for a year and a half. We never left our house. We just now are just starting to get out. And in fact, you know, I've been to the market twice. I know it sounds silly, but it's, we went it we sound silly. I mean, that's the thing. It's like we have to really kind of stop worrying about what everybody else is thinking right. and, and do what's right for us without attempting to harm someone else, obviously. Exactly. But we have to live. I'm a cancer survivor. 
I know. Yeah. But I wasn't going to treat. I mean, I've already, and I have friends that were, and they handled it much differently. So I think that, that those are profound distinctions that need to be made and respected. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we said vacation versus staycation, because clearly I'm on the staycation side and you clearly are on the vacation side going Mm -hmm. out. So let's talk about where all those things might be. I mean, there are locations. We can go local. We can go more across the country, USA, Mm -hmm. Mexico, Hawaii, which I said you've already done, North America, and international. Um, Oh, scares me even to say it. But as I said, I'm going to vicariously live through you. Um, And then there's things like Airbnb and VRBO and short-term rentals, which I'm almost there and that kind of thing because it's, I, you know, I think we, we make up these stories, right, in our head to say, well, that's okay, but this is not. So in my head, that's almost okay because I can go in with my things and clean stuff and I'm driving there in my car. How about you? I mean, are you going to do any Airbnbs or VRBs? We have done Airbnb, actually, um, through this, and it's been a great experience. And what we have encountered through the homes, there have been two instances, and they have they are taking such precautions and i don't know if it's corporate requiring them to do so or it's an individual choice but we felt so secure and so safe in the environment and the steps that they took to to provide a venue that that you could feel safe in so i would do that but you know something else that you might consider that i I have friends that are doing now is rv i love Mm rving so what's something that people probably don't know about me is we owned a fifth wheel yeah and we owned it for 10 years, and I lived in Southern California at the at the time. And we used to go to Pismo like six times a year, mm-hmm. and right on the beach. I loved RVing, but I'm now moving towards the going to a hotel. I live in Palm Desert, and our anniversary is coming up. So we've been discussing maybe we're going to go to one of the casinos, the resorts that are five-star resorts. There are so many great resorts in the Valley, too. Growing up in San Diego, we spent a lot of time in the Coachella Valley. And one of my favorite places is Ingleside Inn. And right off, it's on Ramon, I think, right off Palm Canyon. It's got so much Hollywood history and it's charming. And you can really escape right in your own, truly. Right in our own backyard. And especially when you're living at 120 degree temperature, which is what we are. I don't know how hot it is by you, but you have. Close. We haven't gotten to 120, 118. So we're chasing you. (laughs) I used to say, but it's a dry heat. Not so much. And that does matter. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of humid right now. So we're at, so I'm actually now leaning towards, we're going to go to a resort and I'll get that information from you after we uh, finish the show. Cause that sounds interesting to me. Oh, lovely. Totally sounds oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, as you said, camping, glamping. So for those of you who, um, the idea of being in a tent, like forget it, <laughs> you're not yeah. in a tent. You can glamp. I mean, there are places out there that have uh, prefab tents that are on platforms and, and they have restroom, you know, the whole thing. So that's an option too. I don't know if I would- Have you done Joshua Tree? It's too hot right now. As soon as things cool, I am going up to Joshua. They actually opened a, a location here in Tucson in the Southwest by the in part of the um, Saguaro National Monument area, east or excuse me, west of Tucson. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm dying to go out and try that. So it would be a staycation. That yeah, be a, that would be a staycation. Um, and then we talked about um, travel options, like taking something rather than maybe just your car. Maybe you get on a train, you get on a plane. Uh, we said RV, cross or cruises. Now that's my favorite kind of travel is a cruise. But to be honest, it feels like to get on a ship right now, you would literally be you know, um, surrounded. It's already a di- an issue on cruises. You know, right. don't t- touch the handles when you're walking downstairs. They have the, you know, they've always had the sanitizers when you walk into dining yeah, area. Yeah, even before right. COVID. Mm-hmm. Right. So that'd be something I'd probably look into once they've gotten this back under, I think the first cruise ship went out uh, this weekend. The very we were, first one. <laughs> Excuse me. We were originally supposed to do a cruise in September. Uh, God. Oh, no, it was actually going to be in July. What am I thinking? But then they put, it was with Virgin and they extended right. to September. So I, I don't know that that's open up. And it's changing daily because just recently we heard that um, parts of Australia, good friends in Melbourne, are locking down again because the variant strains are presenting yeah. concern. Um, and Italy may shut down again. So I, you know, it, it really is. So, no, California is now saying, put your mask back on. 
when you are inside an indoor area. They're saying now we have to put our mask, whether you're vaccinated. Really? So, you know, it's like every day it's a new day. You don't, you don't know. You have to yeah. be tuned to what the news is telling us. Um, but I do love cruising. I, I don't, I love unpacking once. I, I love That's the idea. That's probably my least favorite way to travel, I'm going to be honest. There you go. <laughs> because I really like being in a place and, and staying there and really getting and, and yeah. you know, diving into the, to the, the people and the culture and the food and just becoming a neighbor. If you you and my that. hubby would get along fine. When we go on cruises, he does the tours. I lay on a chaise lounge. And I think for me, it's the only way I can unwind after go, go, go. Because I'm, as you know, I'm go, 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 go all year long. And so going on a, on a cruise is for me, really, it's an escape because I can't yeah. use my phone and I can't use my computer and I can't do anything internet wise other than paying a crap load of money, right, to get onto the internet. You just hit on something that I think I would love this to be the main takeaway today is that that's what works for you. So mm -hmm. you do it. What I, and and whatever it is, whether it's the staycation, whether you're whether right. you're having a big barbecue in your backyard for you and your husband, mm -hmm. or for 25 people, whatever makes your day, whatever makes you feel right. comfortable and safe and happy, because. It, every day is a gift and you got to figure out how to get through all this. Oh my gosh. That's so true. I mean, that is the takeaway. Um, I hope, I hope that you guys are listening. That really is the takeaway. Now I'm not athletic in any way, shape or form <laughs> at all. So I live in a c community where there's golf. I don't golf. I live in a community where there's tennis. I don't play tennis. Um, there are swimming pickleball? pools. <laughs> there's pickleball. I, I don't play pickleball. They have bocce. I have played. I love oh, I love. I, I, and it's fun. And I played it when I first was living in Napa. So we did that up there. But it's funny. I'm not athletic. Are you athletic? I am. Yeah. What is your favorite kind of sports? And have you ever done a trip around those? Um, I have not. Act well, I mean, other than we used to go skiing. Um, right. ski trip, oh, but go. I, my husband is an avid golfer and they travel the world with a group of them golfing. Um, however, when we are going to be spending quite a bit of time in South Florida at Rosemary Beach this summer, and I noticed um, the hotel we're staying at offers um, paddleboard. Stand up. And I, I just got excited when I saw that and I wanted to, I said, I'm going to try that. My husband just laughed. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds like fun, actually. I, I like it. I think it's, I mean, I've always wanted to try it. And, and when we were in Hawaii, there was no way because people were doing it. It was admirable, but the waves were, the current was way too strong right. for, me, for me to be comfortable. So I said, uh, I, I hear but you. I think in the Gulf, I'm, it's pretty calm, at least not in the hurricane season. Right. And I'm going to try it. So I'll keep you posted. Well, keep me posted. I mean, again, I, I, yeah. I, I, I must be the most boring person out there. I mean, literally, I do. Very, yeah. I, I put me on a, on a camera on, on screen and I'm I'm in my element. But put me outside and give me a golf club. Wait, not not going to not going to happen. So I'm really obviously a staycation kind of gal. So let's talk a little bit about staycation backyard gatherings. Love it. You know, and it's funny because uh, even when you and I were talking about the backyard gathering, I said, well, I'm paper plates. We throw some burgers on the grill, you know, and we, you know, that's what we do. And you yeah. went, oh, no, that's not what I do. So <laughs> that's not what you do. No, it's all, everything has like a theme and to the nth yeah. degree. And, and, but it's fun. I love doing that. And even when we eat, like when we just have a couple over for dinner, it's like, like everything is, I like to arrange, have everything done. I want to be you. I'm Makes me happy. Not crazy. I'm not Martha Stewart by any stretch, but I do. Yeah. Enjoy, I I like entertaining. It's it give that it gives me peace and happiness to have everybody over and to make it an experience. Uh, and and that again goes back to your takeaway. You know, do what makes you yeah. give you joy and brings you joy. I'm okay. a red I'm a red meat girl. I love my Traeger. I mean, I will do red meat any day of the week. Probably not good for my cholesterol, but I love red meat. And you, on the other hand, you're don't fishing. Eat right? don't, eat don't eat it. On a gas barbecue. And that was the funny thing. We were talking about even the equipment <laughs> that we use, right? Yeah. Just, uh, I'm, I'm just fascinated by... Um, it's a Traeger. I, I honestly don't know what well, that is. Well, a Traeger is a smoker. And um, you, it's, you, you plug it in and you put these... Um, these briquettes, I don't even, they're not briquettes, they're little pellets that you put in and they're hickory flavored and, or they're um, elm flavored and you put them in and the flavor permeates the meat that you put in there. So because we like meat so much, 
you know, right. that it's it's kind of fun. It smokes so though. Similar, on my on my grill, I will soak a uh, cedar plank in water for about an hour and then pop a nice fresh piece of salmon or whatever on there yeah. and, and that just sends me to heaven. Uh, it sounds delicious. I have a plank, but I put it in my oven. <laughs> <laughs> I've never put it on, on the grill. I should try that. I think I should try that. Yeah. You know, so so you do thematic stuff. My theme is paper plates. Um, but because you were talking about thematic and ha- making sure for those of you out there that like to do this and really you you like to entertain, I encourage you again go check out the Uncork Kit. We put in there oh, some. So cool much stuff. fun putting this together, you guys. It's you remember what's in there? Tell us a little bit about what's in there. We had some glasses. Some oh, glass, well, unbreakable glassware, and of course, you know, champagne martini glasses, rocks glasses, everything you can imagine. Beautiful melamine um, outdoor dishes. So you can be comfortable, you know, the, the kids, dogs um, aren't going to break. And gosh, what else is in there? Um, I, I put actually, I put, because I like this, I put the the, the white claw in there. Yeah, you appro- I did not approve that. <laughs> I know you did not approve that, but you know what? It comes in natural lime and grapefruit, ruby grapefruit. It comes in. Well, I might like that. I might like the lime. Yeah, it's it's actually really tasty. If you'd like seltzer, you don't, you know, they're actually, even though there's alcohol in it, you really don't. Um, feel the alcohol. It's really yeah. more of a refreshing seltzer drink. I happen to like seltzer. I don't think you like seltzer that much. Not, that much. not, not that much. <laughs> I'm going to go get some melanin plates because because I, I can step it up a little bit. And I think that makes sense, especially when you're eating meat on a paper plate and oops. It's ha- exactly. It's hard. <laughs> Yeah. And then there's service for like beautiful bowls and yeah. um, silverware things. And um, gosh. Oh, oh no, my favorite. Okay. So this is my favorite, the raft. Um, oh, right. Okay. It's this umbrella fabric. And I actually had it and had to find out where it was made. They had it at our hotel in Punta Mita last, last month. And it is the most beautiful, comfortable wow. reversal. Every Like every raft I don't love them any, but this I never wanted to get out of the pool. So definitely take a look at that. I yeah, mean, that's the fabric. You can't go wrong. No, you can't. I, and you also put some uh, barbecue smoker stuff in there as well. Mm-hmm. A, fish, a fish basket, yeah, and, yeah, very and, nice. and a thing that you could put vegetables so they don't fall through. Yeah. The thing. All those things, and that can be used, guys. Whether it's a Traeger, a smoker, a gas grill, or a you know, grilled bread. I made I made avocado toast yesterday for for everybody, and I was out at six in the morning grilling before it got too hot. Just. Throw some olive oil on on, on a yeah. you know piece of sourdough bread and grill it and snatch some avocado and you're good to go. I think that's delish. I mean, we could live outside if it wasn't so damn hot, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so there's other things that you can do, whether it's a staycation or vacation. I'm very fortunate here in where I live, Coachella. I'm in Coachella Valley and the Coachella Festival's here, right? And so we could go to a music if I was so inclined. Uh, with the crowds of people, which not so much. I go to stagecoach. I don't think I would go to Coachella. I am uh, probably stagecoach. But the idea is there are music events outdoors that you can go to or indoors. There are mm-hmm. local events. And I think it's really important, especially now coming out. It is, yeah. To support those local events. Go to them. Even even if you kind of don't want go, go support yeah, them. I mean, support the artists. I mean, right. they struggle too. So this is a chance to really show them that, I mean, my music and my, my listening habits got me through a lot this past year. And it's a way to quick, you know, give some love back to them. And you're an amazing violinist. I'm a pianist. And, you know, the two of us have that in common as well. We're, we're classically trained mm-hmm. and we do that. The music got me through it as well. Mm-hmm. I'm actually looking, one of the theaters here, ha- they're bringing in some orchestras. And oh, I am going to go and experience uh, the orchestra. That's, that's going to make you, that's a good way to dip your toes in the water. Exactly. Here. Get you out right in the crowd and. Right. And day escapes. That was the other thing we talked Mm -hmm. about. Take Mm -hmm. a day and go somewhere. So where would it's in your neck of the woods, where would be a day escape for you guys? Uh, Well, Sedona is beautiful. It's a, I mean, I'd probably spend the night. It's about four hours from where I am, but there's so much um, Sonoida, which actually we have beautiful wineries in Mm -hmm. Arizona, which is not a common knowledge and it's southeast. It's beautiful. There's, I mean, Nogales. You can pop across the border for a beautiful day of shopping and lunch and come back. So, mm-hmm. you know, and then Phoenix is an hour and a half. So it's fun to go up and meet girlfriends and shop and enjoy the great restaurants up there. Yeah. Um, 
Sounds so, like fun. How about you? How about where well, you? Um, we, Idlewild. Idlewild is absolutely stunning. Um, we, can, we can also take the tram up to the top mm -hmm. where it's like 30 degrees cooler. Yeah. Um, okay. First time I ever saw snow. I was three years old up that so, time. <laughs> we're going to do that. But we're also near Temecula. So we can go to the wine country. Nice. Uh, and uh, we're also a couple hours from La Jolla, from the beach. So if we wanted to... Uh, you know, drive there. But as you just said, it probably would just stay overnight because it's gorgeous there. Yeah, and you're not going to want to have got a day trip. But yeah. again, with the close, you can feel comfortable. You're you're pretty close to home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ab absolutely. And I think whether you're taking your staycation right now or your vacation right now or in six months, all of these things are, are valid. And I think it works no matter what you're doing. If it's a little cooler off, obviously there's other things. you. Well, can and I'm sure it's like this where you are, but our local resorts and world-class resort Dove mountain is the roots chains, number one resort in the, their chain. Wow. It, and they're having great deals for the summer because it is hot here. So people come down from Phoenix, um, right. pop over from California. It's a, you can, so it's a great financial break too. To right. Talk. And to support your local economy is nice. Exactly. Again, we're going we're going back to that. I think it's so important that we support the local economy. So yeah. we we've we've dealt with um, whether we stay or we go. And I'm oh, no. this guys, you know, those of you who are listening, whether it's it's live or on replay, let us know. Are you going to do a staycation or a vacation? And, and you're send some ideas. Like, yeah, share your ideas. We'll put them out there and share them with everybody because I think we are all chomping at the bit in whatever way we can and exactly. will to get out. Well, and you know, for, for me, and I, I, I guess I kind of forgot to say this, my one of my staycations is, is I'm, I haven't seen my folks in a year and a half. And so they live in Los Angeles, it's about a two hour drive. So one of our staycation things oh, are gonna be is to get in our car and surprise my parents who I haven't seen. Um, and they're in their late eighties. So I wanna, you know, I really want to go see them. Um, and so we're going to get in our car, I think, and we're going to go up to Santa Monica, where it's a whole lot cooler, uh, near the beach, and we're going to go there. So that's another thing, is visiting Beautiful. family and friends, right? Mm -hmm. Visiting family and friends that we maybe yes. haven't seen in a very long mm -hmm. time. So. Yep. so any last minute thoughts about all of this? Um, well, first and foremost, thank you for tuning in. We know you have a lot of choices in how you spend your time and we appreciate this and we hope you've enjoyed this and we really encourage you to share your ideas and locations, any hidden gems, you know, any getaways that you can share. We would love to share that with the community. Absolutely. And you know, the show's called Uncorked. So each time we meet, which is the first Tuesday of the month, uh, we have a different topic, but we never are far from our glass of yeah. whatever we're drinking. Not ever. <laughs> ever. Uh, we have that. And if you have some ideas of things that you'd like us to cover, we'd love to hear from you as well on that. I mean, we, we've got lots of topics, but if there's something you say, oh, you know what? We'd like to get your take on it. Mm -hmm. well, put that in the comments as well. We'd love to hear from you. And as Mel said, you do have a choice. So thank you for choosing us today because we appreciate you. And make sure you tune in next time on the first Tuesday of next month, August, for our next show. I, I can't believe this is we're halfway through the it's year. Through. I know, it's crazy. How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. So go out and give somebody an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Mel. Bye.